Welcome back on into Fox 43 AM Live. I got Miss Stacy Ogle here with me today. No stranger Hello. to the show, of course. How yeah, you doing? Good to be back. Yeah, very good to have you here. So tell me what's going on with the summer concert series tonight. Well, so we are <laughs> kicking off another summer concert series. We've got one more left after this month in September. And tonight we have Project 11 that goes on stage and they'll be bringing us some jazz music. So yeah, do you mind sharing a little bit about the band's background, if you know anything? Yeah, so I do know Stephanie Nesseth. Yeah. Um, she's also a local artist, so she's multi-talented. Oh, great. Um, <laughs> she's been a music producer for over 20 years, and she's got a very um, diverse background when it comes to music. Um, she's working with a couple other people, and they've put together this band, and they like to bring kind of a different variety of jazz music mm -hmm. to um, th what you're going to experience. So she was telling me that there is um, a good mix of lo-fi jazz, which I'm not too familiar with. I am familiar with lo-fi. I love lo-fi. That's I, awesome. I heard that it's really awesome and yeah. it's, a, it's a totally different experience and that's kind of what we want to do with the summer concert series is bring an eclectic mix yeah. of music to Topeka, something that you haven't had before, some diversity in what you're listening to. So, Oh man, I am excited, Stacy, for you to get introduced <laughs> to the world of lo-fi. I'm excited cool. for Topeka <laughs> to get introduced to the world of lo-fi yeah. and that's you know exactly what we want to do. So we want to bring some new stuff to the community and give them something that they haven't experienced before. Of course. And so I also know that they have an opening act. We do. do you mind Tell me a little act. bit about the opening act today. So I'm super excited about the opening act. His name is Luke Scheibmeyer. He is a um, jazz pianist also, and he's a young kiddo who goes to Washburn Rural High School. Crazy, he's in high school. He, it is <laughs> crazy, it. and it's just amazing to watch him play. So the, the other thing too about Luke is he's blind, and so when okay. he gets up on stage and performs, it really is just truly an amazing experience to watch him. He's so talented. I love that about this um, summer concert series. That's what makes it so special is that we get a chance to bring in youth musicians to open for our main performer and they get a chance to really um, shine on stage and we've seen them do that. It's incredible to watch these kids. They're so talented. Yeah, and to kind of like get that exposure and get that experience of being up on stage because, you know, I can imagine it can be a little nerve wracking if that's your first time. Or Absolutely. And, you know, we want to be able to give them the tools that they need and show them that experience, get to see what it's like to watch, you know, a bigger performer set up their equipment and do the sound check and the backstage experience. And then these kiddos get a chance to practice their stage performance and really, you know, play in front of a large group of people. So yeah. it really is great. It's great to watch them shine and it's great <laughs> to know that we get to be there in the beginning and kind of help rise them up a little bit. Yeah, you guys are setting them up for success later on in their career too, when they can, you know, when they do go on stage Absolutely. again and when they do perform once more. That's that's wonderful. And we welcome them back after yeah. they have performed for us. So, it, you know, it's not uncommon to see them come back and perform on a first Friday or do something again. So. Yeah, see a familiar face every now and then, yes. right? Yes, and, and I think you will love to watch them. I'm, I'm not even their parents, and I'm super proud of these kids. <laughs> That's so. wonderful. Well, so I know you, we've already touched on it somewhat, but, I mean, why is this, why do you think that this summer concert series is just so important for the Topeka community to be invested in? Well, it's important for a lot of reasons. Um, number one, you know, we we have a wonderful, vibrant arts district down here in our city, and it's still a little bit new to us, and it's important for our community to embrace that. Mm -hmm. And we're trying really hard to bring things to the Topeka community that they haven't had before, like the summer concert series. So, you know, we want to be inclusive of our entire community, so we were very um, strategic in how we went about bringing the musicians and making sure that we're offering a variety of music that will be accepted by everyone, um, so you don't feel like you can't come down and listen to it and also to, you know, give you something new. We, we're so often kind of repeating the same kind of music that we listen to oh, yeah. regularly <laughs> in this city. And we've got some very talented musicians out there and they're eager to play and eager to do some fresh music that you haven't heard before. And so that's one of the great things about this. Yeah. You get that chance. It's helping those artists get exposure and it's helping the community maybe find out about some new artists, some new music that they never have been exposed to There's before. There's nothing wrong with growing our music scene here in Topeka. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. And so for anyone that would like to go, can you give them all the details, what time they need to be Absolutely. there, where at, and just, uh, yeah, fire so, off. <laughs> it's a free concert at Redbud Park and that is 924 North Kansas Avenue. You come on down. We've got limited seating so you can bring your okay. lawn chairs, bring your friends. We'll have a beer garden. Um, we'll have some family activities and it starts at 7 o'clock. Um, Luke goes on stage at 7 and then Project 11 goes on stage at 8 and plays until 10. 
That is absolutely wonderful, guys. Hey, you heard it here first. Head on out to uh, the Summer Concert Series, the second to last one, right? Yep, that's right. Next you month, got one more we'll have um, on Tondo. Oh, okay. And we'll probably have you back on to hear all about it, right? Yeah. All right. If you want any, any information, you can go to our website. Okay, thank you so much, Stacey, for coming on. It sounds like it's really going to be a fun time, too. Yeah, we'll look forward to seeing you guys.